Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Peyton Forbes. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Wednesday, June 2nd, 2021. Let's go to Aunt Alicia to see what's happened today in history. Thank you, Peyton. Today in history on June 2nd, 1975, the first pool was built inside of the White House. The 20-foot wide and 50-foot long pool was created in 1975 by the 38th President Gerald Ford during his presidency. The pool was created because Ford regretted the lack of a pool at the White House and did not find playing golf as satisfying as swimming. Thank you, Annalicia. Today's sports highlights are presented to you by the Patriots. Killer Report Rural Olympics are like none other. If you think Olympic athletes that have four years to train in between events have it rough, then you haven't met the sportsmen and women that participate in the Killer Report Olympics. Not only do they compete every year, but also do so in sporting events that require very unusual skills. Also, even though the villagers don't spend millions of dollars on special venues, these games such as tug of war, bullet cart race, dog race appear to be much more fun than the real deal. Now let's go to Noah to see what's for lunch. Today's lunch is crispy chicken patty, bun, country blend veggies, diced peaches, mayonnaise, and milk. Bon appetit! Now let's go back to Peyton. Thank you, Noah. Scholars, here are a few upcoming events coming up this week. Friday, June 4th, is the Kindergarten drive through celebration going on from 9 to 10 a.m. Also, this Friday is the 8th grade grilling event. Now let's see what the weather is going to be like today with David. Thank you, Peyton. Today's weather in Pembroke Pines, Florida is forecast to be 86 degrees Fahrenheit and scattered thunderstorms. Looks like another rainy day, so let's hope our pools don't turn into lakes. Now let's go to for the joke of the day. Thank you, David. Samuel, that was hilarious. Today's birthday boys are Malcolm Sebastian and Jaden John Baptist. Happy birthday! Let's go back to Peyton. Patriots, don't forget your past expectations. Your presents, present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Miss Newton, Miss Cavalita, Miss Yearwood, Miss Bonilla, Miss Antisteban, Miss Barrow, Miss Silvera, Miss Calabrese, and Miss Stone. You all had the correct answer to yesterday's riddle, which was, if you drop a yellow hat in the Red Sea, what does it become? The correct answer to the riddle was wet. Now for today's riddle. Nolani is outside a shop. She can't read the signs, but she knows she needs to go in to make a purchase. What store is she at? Again, Nolani is outside a shop. She can't read the signs, but she knows she needs to go in to make a purchase. What store is she at? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for your response to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on tomorrow's morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a wonderful Wednesday. And don't forget to remember, unite, rise. Have a great day.